A scathing review shocks the Columbia Police Department why some think the chief should step down. High winds keep local fire departments very busy today. More jobs, more problems. Some people fighting major companies moving to mid-Missouri. KOMU 8 News at 6 starts now. From Studio 8A, coverage you can count on in high definition. This is KOMU 8 News at 6. A report released today gives the Columbia Police Department scathing reviews. Good evening, I'm Danielle McCarthy. And I'm Angie Bailey. Thanks for joining us. The 20-page review says the supervisory culture is approaching toxicity, the morale of the department is extremely low, and rules and regulations are confusing. KOMU 8 Sophia Pedinakis is live at the police department right now. So, Sophia, give us some background on this new report. Thanks, Michelle. Speaking of those strong winds we had today, they can cause more damage than just a skirt alert we've been joking around. Damage like several fires called into the Boone County Emergency Management just this afternoon. The National Weather Service issued a wind advisory and a fire weather warning today. KOMU spoke with the Boone County Fire Department officials who said these warnings are typical for mid-Missouri this time of year. Gail Blumenkamp says strong winds, low humidity, and warm temperatures result in conditions that are perfect for fires. In mid-Missouri, this usually happens in February, March, and April. And he says sometimes people just don't think when they burn. Blumenkamp encourages people not to burn anything at all on days like today. Columbia residents are meeting with city officials right now to talk about enhanced enterprise zones, or EEZs. The zones are designed to bring jobs to the city by offering tax incentives to companies. But KOMU 8's Cody Legros shows us how one resident thinks it's too good to be true. We'll have more on tonight's meeting coming up on KOMU 8 News at 9 and 10. A local kitchen's new location affects more than just its guests. But see why its old neighbor is left looking for money. Drum roll, oh, there, there it is. is. The record two-hour rainfall amount was nearly 10, 20, or 30 inches. That's a lot Like the rain. record ever for yes. the U.S. or whatever. It's going to be a lot. Two hours. I'll, I'll go for the gusto. I'll, I'll go for C. I'll say 20, the median. What do you got? 20 would be the correct answer. Oh. Very nice of you, Danielle. <laughs> Stymied. I can't believe it. That's still a lot of rain. 20 that is a lot of rain years. in That's two a hours. massive amount of rain. Yep. All right. Thanks, Michelle. A new space for a familiar place. How moving Columbia's soup kitchen will impact more than just its visitors. Hey, OMU 8's Lauren Singh Vinay shows us how One Day Center employee is still optimistic about its future. The soup kitchen provides meals to an average of 60 people every night. Meaning a new approach. How a former Florida Gator swimmer revitalized her career at Mizzou. That's next in sports. Coming up at 10, we'll tell you all about the Super Tuesday turnouts. And how recent violent weather could affect how much you're paying for insurance. We'll have those stories at 9 and 10 tonight. Skirt alert still in effect. We're going to say it through as many tomorrow. Times as we can. Through, through tomorrow. tomorrow. What's a skirt Keep alert? Keep in mind, you don't have to worry about no. it usually. No. But those of us who wear Not skirts, usually. it comes up more than often. Thanks for joining us, folks. We'll see you at 9 and 10.